All right, take number two. 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 Here we are at the 2018 Cheap Show. We're here at the Latrip's booth. I'm with James Latrip. Um, one of the biggest questions on Rockside is why do they two offer two different kinds of boots and uh, what's up with the Synergy footbeds? James is here to kind of go over both, which one's right for you, and talk about their whole process of measuring. We're going to go over their gold package and uh, figure out the right boots for you. James, can you tell us about the boots? Sure. First of all, we offer two different types of boots. This is the Mountain Hunter Elite, and we have the Mountain Hunter. The main two differences between the two are, or the two differences between the two is the Mountain Hunter is an all leather boot running through the dorsal surface of the vamp here. It's all leather. It's a Perwanger leather, uh, which is a very dense, durable uh, type of fabric. Gotcha. Um, the Elite has an Eagle Cordura membrane running through the top of it with a tech tab lacing system. This is a type of, of system having this Eagle Cordura. It allows us to be able to fit several different styles of feet. If you have a lower volume type of foot where you would normally want to have a, a boot with less depth inside of it, gotcha. you're able to cinch this up and it will wrap around the foot creating a better custom type of fit to it. Uh, it is a semi crampon compatible. We have a TPU uh, lip on the back of it. Um, both boots have an LMS rocker midsole. This has what we consider the perfect heel height in it. When we're walking, we need to make sure we have the offloading of the back of our legs here, the calf muscles, and having the right amount of heel height will help you accelerate through the gait cycle. Gotcha. The amount of toe spring or toe drop that we've incorporated in this is what we feel is necessary for a boot that has a really stiff shank to it. This is a 5.5 mil shank, which transfer, or turns into a five underneath the arch area, and then a 4.3, so you have a little bit of extra flex right there for toe off. This boot right here, the Hunter, the difference in this, it does not have a TPU. It has a PU type of uh, material wrapping around the heel, so it does create a little more stability in the rear foot as well. Nine inch tall boot versus eight and a half. Having a little lower cut like that allows that foot to be able to go through that articulating motion at the ankle a little bit easier, okay? Both boots have a event membrane in it, which is a little bit more of a porous type of waterproof membrane. It is 100% waterproof, but in fact, it actually breathes a lot Better. more. So if a boot does get wet or you're sweating a lot inside of it, when you take this thing off the next day or try to put it on the next day, it's actually dry. Gotcha. A lot of Gore-Tex boots, if you've ever noticed, and you've put your foot down in them the next day, kind of feel a little damp. Right. It's because Gore-Tex actually absorbs that moisture inside of it so <laughs> it can pass through. That's the technology behind it. Both boots can be fitted with our Synergy footbed. This is a medical grade polymer that we use in our, in our father's podiatry practice to help offload uh, the shock and shear for these diabetic patients that have ulcers on their foot. Gotcha. Those types of people will have a, a uh, some soft tissue breakdown over a period of time, uh, and this was designed to be able to offload. It's completely different than silica. A silicone ball, if you get out of a gumball machine and drop it, it'll bounce quite a bit up around your thigh. And this type of material in the same ball form, it may only bounce about three or four inches. Really? Yes. As far as fitting, a process that we do, we offer two methods. We can simply talk to you over the phone if you're not having a, a, a lot of issues. Uh -huh. um, we know a lot about the different types of brands and how they work with certain types of feet, so we can help with that. Um, there is a measuring technique that we can talk to you over the phone to help figure out that the size is accurate for you. That is one way to do it. You can get a Synergy footbed. This can be cut to fit inside of the boot, so you have a, a custom fit like that. The other way is a much more precise method. We actually take this type of carbon imprint and have you trace your foot out at home. You need to have somebody try to be careful and make sure they hold that pin straight up and down as they go around it. Once we have that, it creates a mirror image of your foot and we're able to, to analyze that for the last of the boot, 
heel height type of fit bed that would be made. This is all put into a chart so we have a history for you. Right. And allows us to go back and forth with it again and again and again. So it improves the fitting as time goes on. Gotcha. Um, sometimes in that process a guy wants, maybe they want one of our boots. But in fact, because of their type of foot, they may not be able to use it. There's only so many modifications that can be done. We can right. do a lot of them. We uh, do modifications for bunion deformities, uh, hammer toes, calcaneal spurs on the back of the heel. We can punch that out, uh, as well as modifications to the foot bed so they're 100% dialed in for them. Okay. Um, if a guy can't get down here or he can't get to your shop, how do they go about doing that? It's pretty easy. You just pick up the phone and give us a call. Uh, you're going to talk to myself, Stephen's son, Morgan, uh, or Stephen. And we'll sit down and visit with you a little bit, try to help you figure out really which process is going to be the best uh, way to go. And this boot isn't just somebody else's stamp boot with Late Trip. You guys this built is this. our boot. We built this boot. The process is this. We've sold all kinds of different brands and fitted a lot of different feet. We took a lot of the key ingredients, key designs, and incorporated in, into these two boots. Gotcha. So these design features we feel are the is the way to go. What what um, how many miles can somebody get out of these boots? I mean, I know it's different with weight and all that, but I mean, Every, generalize. Everybody is different. I, I, I'm just going to say this. We put a lot of emphasis in on the quality of the materials. Um, I know a, a gentleman that uh, did two sheep hunts, a goat hunt, and I believe it was a grizzly bear hunt. Um, he had another uh, boot that we had used quite a bit, mm -hmm. um, and in compared to that, he didn't have near the miles on that boot, but it was completely thrashed. Whereas this one, after all that hunting, it really looked great still. Nice. We don't have a lot of issues uh, with rubber rands, or we haven't seen anything uh, with the delamination of the rubber rands. A lot of times you'll see that in other types of boots that have those rubber rands on them. Doesn't necessarily mean that they're gonna fall apart or anything. They're still stable. They still protect the boot, right. but it does come undone. And we really tried to um, keep that from happening. And you guys also sell other top-end boots on your website too, correct? We sell Loa. We sell Zamberlin. We sell uh, uh, Scarpa, Solomon. Uh, so, yeah, we, we try to carry a lot of them. You need those tools to fit these types of feet. Right. And that's the key. We really pride ourselves on trying to help that person get into the correct style of boot. Um, it can be kind of an overwhelming. <laughs> I, I Guys bet. call in and try to, they've tried five or six different styles of boots. And what will work for their friend may not necessarily work for them. So right. you kind of have to look at everybody's different. And even in, in feet are different. There's nothing symmetrical about our bodies at all. Most right. of us have one leg length um, issues, so on and so forth. So. so if a guy's had 10 years of foot problems, they really need to get a hold of you. We're not practicing that. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, if they... What, 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 what we are doing is... Yes, we're very knowledgeable about the foot and the lower extremity, and we can help guide that individual into the what we feel like is the correct type of right. figure. And often, um, people will see a big difference in how they feel. Well, I think the difference is is you're looking at it from the foot standpoint, not just giving them I'm a size eight and a half. You need to wear an eight and a half. Yeah, we're trying. We're really trying to make sure that what they get is going to work, and we're very passionate about what uh, what we do. It's like this. We treat people the same way that, it, that if they walked into my dad's clinic upstairs. People go to a physician to um, get rid of the pain, mm -hmm. and we try to do exactly the same thing. Sometimes you miss the mark. We're human, just like anybody else. But you, what you're going to get with Lathrop and Sons is a couple of guys that we don't quit. We're going to keep going and going and going as much as we possibly can. And I think that is 
made a difference and allowed our business to develop develop the way it has been word of mouth so. another question on the boot is how stiff is it i mean how do you relate to stiffness for a guy asking is it this is an alpine style of it but here's the thing it, it is very stiff it, when you walk in it you can tell it doesn't flex a whole lot but the way this this was designed uh, how it rolls uh, how it pitches you forward makes you feel like kind of like you've got a tennis shoe on gotcha. so it's an it's sort of a hybrid I'll say mm -hmm. yeah. um, when you walk in it yes you notice the stiffness but um, it, it, it's just very comfortable to wear so a guy that elk hunts or a guy that sheep hunts can yeah, wear the can, same boot? You can, you, you can use it. I live in Robinson, Illinois. I fish them <laughs> in my yard with them on there. You want to know why? Because it's comfortable. Gotcha. You were wearing them last night. I and was you were out walking around. I wore them all week. And I put, they didn't seem to go with my pants. So I put my tennis <laughs> shoes on today. <laughs> you got to keep stylish. Thank you. <laughs> I uh, all right. We appreciate it big times, James. If you want to yeah, find them, you. where can we down. find you? What's the website? Uh, it's... Uh, www.lathropandsense.com boots at lathropandsense.com is our email give us a call 618-544-8782 uh, is our phone number we appreciate it james thank yep, you thank you appreciate it thanks yep.